Um, I'm Dr. Penny Burdick. Um, I'm a family medicine physician from the United States um, who since 2011 has been doing energy healing of kind called Healing Touch. And I'm here in Nepal um, where I do some teaching of energy self-care and uh, sometimes the first level of Healing Touch classes and have done some healing work with healer with uh, Bhutan uh, Vajracharya here in his clinic. In the United States, the healthcare system is badly broken. Um, it, it does not address the whole person. It, it only treats people physically, but not spiritually, mentally, emotionally. And I had a close friend who was one of the uh, very early people in Healing Touch. And she, she was writing a book for the general public to explain Healing Touch and asked me to read the draft of the book and write a review for her. So I read the draft of the book and reread it and took notes and then said, I think I have to take a class in this. And I took the first level of Healing Touch training and wondered why I was in Western medicine because this, this deals with the whole person. In, in uh, Western society, at least in the United States, um, things have gotten very much into scientific Western medicine for the last 60, 70 years. Um, and it's fairly recent that people are, are getting more interested in alternative or complementary medicine, energy healing, like Healing Touch, acupuncture, Ayurveda, massage, all, many other kinds of therapy. Um, and I started in this in 2011, and when I started, people weren't sure that this was something real that I was doing, but it's, it has changed in the last 10 years or less. More and more people now are interested in having energy medicine and finding that it helps them in ways that Western medicine does not. I think the cultures in the East, because energy work started in the East, have always been more accepting of what is called alternative medicine in the U.S., um, which I tell people in the U.S. that in the Eastern countries, what we call alternative has always been there, and that's traditional medicine. And Western medicine is for when you need surgery or you have a broken bone or there's something that needs to be fixed. In, in the West, um, it, there was traditional medicine long ago, but, but not for a long time. For a long time, it's been mostly Western medicine. Um, so it's only recently that it's being accepted. But I do find that at least I have, have not treated a lot of people here, but the people I treat in the U.S. come because they believe in, that this is valuable, and I think uh, they actually are using it for a broader range of things, but that's only a limited number of the people, whereas most people here are accepting of this kind of work. There's quite a few things it's useful for. I said most people, when they first start having energy work, they come for pain, and it does help to relieve pain. It's very good at reducing anxiety and stress and helping with headaches, especially tension headaches. Um, it's used before and after surgery. I've done this on, on um, several people that have had major surgeries and the, the surgeon gave them a prescription for very strong pain medicine and they never filled the prescription because the energy healing kept the pain so little that they didn't need a prescription medicine. And and sometimes they heal much quicker. It's also used for people that have cancer and are getting chemotherapy or radiation and, and decreases the side effects of those. I had one woman that, I had just met her once in a store, but we talked about what I did. She had this and pain that was so bad that she could not eat solid food, she could only drink in a straw, she could not smile, even, even a light wind touching her face was horrible pain. 
And the doctors told her they would give her narcotic and destroy the nerve. And she said no and called me and said, can you help? And I said, as a Western doctor, I would tell you do what they said, but as an energy healer, let's try. And she came to see me four times and the pain was gone after four times with no medication, no surgery. And, and in the process of treating it, she realized what started it was worrying about her husband, a health problem her husband had. And then I could teach her things she could do to help herself. So now if she gets just a little pain in her face, she stops and thinks, what am I worrying about now, about my husband or about my life? And does some meditation and relaxation and does some energy healing and she never has bad pain. So this is the kind of thing that, that we can do with, with Yes, I, I started in Healing Touch in 2011. Um, the Healing Touch program, which is or teaches Healing Touch, is taught in over 30 countries now. But it's five levels of training. And between the fourth and fifth, you do at least one year apprenticeship with a mentor who is a certified practitioner or instructor. Um, and so I took um, the training in, in the western part of the United States where I live, most of it. Um, and then and at, had I'm the, a mentor that I apprenticed with was in Washington State where I live. Um, once you become finished the fifth level and are a practitioner, then there's a national certification exam. It's a computer exam taken at a testing center. And they do this to be nationally accredited. So this is the only nationally accredited energy medicine program in the United States. And that was important to me as a physician, to take something that, that was taught the same everywhere in the world and that, that had strong requirements in order to be a certified practitioner. And then I trained as an instructor to teach the first level of Healing Touch. And that's through all of this is with the Healing Touch program because that's who teaches it. So now I teach that first level of training for the Healing Touch program.